MTV Catfish will teach you one valuable lesson. Don't trust anyone online. The show features young people or older people or just anybody who uses the internet for sources of social media you just never know who you're talking to. And you have to really do your research and not allow your heart to always lead you, but use your resources and your mind as well because there's a lot of evil people out there. Once these people come face to face with their victims, all sorts of drama breaks loose. And with that said, here are the most dramatic catfish reveals ever. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. That is crazy. He's mad at me because he's been cheating on me. Number five, Antonio and Alfred. Alfred had been talking to a man online named Adonis for a year, and this may have even led to Alfred and his children moving out of Antonio's house and back in with his brother. When the catfish crew arrived at his home, his ex Antonio was there and was confused as to why Alfred would go to such great lengths just to find this stranger online. The crew tries to confront Alfred and advise him to come clean about his true emotions towards Antonio and why he was doing what he did. Antonio calls Alfred out for calling the catfish crew to meet somebody he didn't even know. He was hurt that he wasn't good enough for him. For a relationship that lasted for over five years, I believe Antonio deserved an explanation for everything, but Alfred was ready to risk it all for this stranger, Adonis, that he met online. Antonio called Alfred stupid for choosing to leave him over the stranger, but it seemed Alfred was ready to call it quits. What happens next is even more hilarious to watch because Antonio reveals to Alfred that the reason he couldn't find this person was because he was the Adonis Alfred was talking to. A fight breaks out between the two as the crew tries to separate them. Even the catfish crew was shocked at this revelation. So this guy was cheating on his boyfriend with his boyfriend? Alfred just couldn't swallow the truth he just heard and was furious at Antonio who was simply fed up because he'd been cheating on him with this fictional Adonis. Antonio decides to drive away from the madness, but Alfred still needed closure and requests the catfish crew to get clarification as to what Antonio just confessed. A small interrogation confirmed that Antonio was indeed the Adonis his now ex was talking to. When asked, why did you do that? I needed facts, Antonio responded. He wanted to know of his boyfriend's cheating tendencies and if he was talking to other people behind his back. Everything was so tense at the moment that the crew decided it would be best to talk to Antonio the next day. Alfred, who was currently feeling stupid, was shocked to find out he's been catfished by his own boyfriend. The fact that Antonio continued with the flirting for the longest time is what left him speechless and hurt. To be honest, I don't get why this guy was even hurt. You'd honestly been caught in a lie by your own boyfriend. How you feeling? I'm feeling like, this is like so weird, bro. Number four, Jose, Rosa, Danny. This is one of those catfish reveals no one saw coming. Danny went with the catfish crew to officially meet Rosa, a girl he's been chatting with online but had never met face to face or had a video chat with. When they arrived at Rosa's house, Nev went inside to meet her before convincing Rosa to come outside to meet Danny. This whole time, Danny was super nervous because he didn't know what to expect. As he stood there, he was shaken to see a short man coming outside of the house and looked nothing like the girl he was talking to. I think the most interesting part of it all was that every viewer was sure it was a woman before they saw him walk out the door. I mean, his Rosa voice was very convincing. The guys revealed his real name was Jose and not Rosa, as Danny thought. At this point, everything was crazy and Danny just wanted to understand why Jose would even consider doing such a thing. Jose tries to defend himself saying, I didn't mean for this to happen like this. However, Danny wasn't backing down easily and kept asking Jose if he was ashamed of himself. What are you doing, man? I didn't mean for this to happen like this. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, bro? I am ashamed of myself. Yeah. According to Jose, he wasn't trying to hurt anyone else but the person in the picture whose real name was Natalie. He was trying to get her to feel the pain that he felt since he used to be bullied in school by her and other people. So he created the account for revenge purposes, but took things a little too far because this was back in high school, yet he was currently 26. Danny asks Jose, whatever you have against this girl, bro, what does that have to do with me? You don't play with people like that. You don't do that to people. I'm over here making plans and I'm like all into this girl. What were you actually planning to get out of this? Jose told the guy that he was sorry as Danny offered him some free advice to go to church as well as seek some help. Danny bluntly told him locking himself up and make believing that he was a woman was wrong and if he liked men he should consider approaching men who liked men instead of pretending to be someone he's not. Danny took it so maturely and called it an embarrassment as he walked away. Jose was extremely sad because he claimed that he had no one to talk to since Danny listened and he only wanted to feel noticed and appreciated. All this tough times have been made easier all thanks to Danny who even helped him fight his drug abuse. As much as you'd want to feel sorry 
sorry for the guy. Can you imagine how Danny was ready to settle this with Rosa? Talking to her. On our show, with our cameras. <sighs> if you, you call actually... me a bitch one more time, we're gonna have a serious problem, so let's be respectful. Yeah. Number three, Ashley and Red. If Rude had an image, it would definitely look something like Ashley, as she came face to face with Red the person she was catfishing. It was like a cat rage. When asked by Nev if she'd even been to LA, Ashley answered no, but Cammie brought up that Ashley had mentioned she was in LA for work. Ashley already had an attitude towards Cammie and tells Nev, okay, I'ma talk to you, as she dismisses Cammie. Nev reveals that he's received info that Red has been talking to several online profiles for the past six years that were not real, and Ashley was probably behind all of them. This whole time, she didn't even bother to deny, and all she said was, hmm. As Nev calls out the girls, Shanika, Tamar, Jalissa. Ashley rudely responds, me, 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 me. When Red asked if she was doing it to anybody else, Ashley casually says, of course. Red just wanted to know why, but Ashley said it just started. Ashley claimed that Red was in her inbox and had a tendency of texting the different catfish accounts playing around. When Cammie tries to intervene, telling Ashley she didn't need to be rude, this girl bluntly tells Cammie she's trying to talk to the host, Nev, since she, Cammie, was just the help. Nev at this point decides to step in and put her in her place by telling her they work as a unit, and if she wasn't willing to cooperate, there was no need of going on with the confrontation. When Nev gets deeper into the whole situation, Ashley reveals she started creating fake profiles ever since she was 12 years old. He wanted to know how she came around some of the girls and said they were off Instagram since they were following each other. Nev notices Ashley was getting upset, but she defends herself by saying it was her character since she was a blunt person. Red tries to make her see there was a difference between being blunt and disrespectful, but this sparks up even more friction. Despite the deep romantic conversations of love and getting married, despite knowing Red was in another relationship, it was all for the show, according to Ashley. She only kept going because she was bored. In fact, she never even liked girls to begin with. Oh, it's her. I don't think it is, man. Well, who else could it be? I mean, really, Katie? Number two, Harriet and Spencer. Nev and Max helped Spencer, who's convinced he's been talking to Katy Perry for several years. Harriet had been talking to Spencer for the past six years, trying to convince him she was Katy Perry. The plot twist, however, is that Harriet doesn't personally know Katy Perry, nor is she connected to anyone that does. When they met, the whole time Harriet was laughing, and Spencer, who was at the time agitated, asked her if she was finding anything amusing because it was all very awkward. Spencer was convinced that Harriet was Katy Perry because she knew so much about her history. It was like a really big fan of her, so it was kind of stuff I knew from being a fan. I was checking everything. Well. But Harriet says she was just a really big fan and was well informed. When Spencer revealed he'd expected more enthusiasm from the girl he was talking to for years, and was convinced it wasn't her since she lacked interest. He proceeds to ask where they'd met and Harriet responded, the app. At this point, Spencer is in denial and claims that she wasn't the one he was talking to. When asked by Nev who else it could be, Spencer says, really, Katy Perry and the whole crew is just lost for words. They even request Harriet to pop his bubble by telling him something only the two of them had talked about in the app. She proceeds to tell him his middle name was Ray and he dressed up as a hot sauce for Halloween. Spencer asked Harriet for the name of their kids that they talked about and she was able to name two out of the four. Spencer was still convinced he was getting punked and Katy Perry had organized the whole thing. Nev tries to give him a reality check that he was in a fantasy thinking that he was talking to Katy Perry, just not face to face, just not to face the truth that he's been catfished, despite investing his time in it. Harriet, on the other hand, was told to start considering people's feelings. The two had some personal self-reflections to do. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really worked. Yeah, that I said that it was my cousin later on because I didn't want him to keep being hurt. He was crying, yeah, he was you upset. Did. And lie to me again. Number one, Ramon and Paula. This guy literally catfished himself. Nev and Max learn Ramon refuses to accept who Paula really is. When they arrived at Paula's house, whose real name was Loida, they thought she wouldn't face them because she took forever to answer the door. Ramon claimed he'd spent so much time and money on her, yet she kept lying to him and not revealing the truth to him. Loida just created the fake profile out of boredom and wasn't looking to meet anyone off it. Loida tells him he could pick whatever she had in the house. Loida wasn't expecting a relationship to form with him since everything else was real aside from the appearance and the name. She explains how guilty she felt that he'd spent thousands of dollars on her. Ramon tells her that she should have come clean after all that, but Loida reveals some shocking revelations. She'd indeed come clean several times to Ramon, but he was still in denial. She claims he knew all her names, FaceTime, and even expected to meet the girl that stood before him. The crew was confused as to why Ramon never revealed that important information to them, but didn't want to believe it. On the other hand, Loida really had true feelings for Ramon, who wanted nothing to do with her. She had a special connection with him, and considered him to be her boyfriend for the past seven months and claimed that it happened unexpectedly. 
It all left her very heartbroken since she was sure they were never going to get to talk to each other again. Ramon was ideally delusional. Ramon was really delusional and had someone to talk to for a few months that they had together. Quite unfortunate, don't you think?